Neil Selinger, 1975, Columbia College, and accepted this morning by his wife, Rima Grad. I love accepting the award for my husband at Columbia. I have been hearing about Columbia since the day I met him. We uh, entered as freshmen right after the riots. There were extraordinary temptations to do things other than study. Neil, I think a little bit like me, uh, imbibed slightly, but remembered that our primary reason uh, was to be at college and to learn and to gain experience. There was um, a residual pride that he kind of carried with him. Um, I knew that I wanted to go here from the time I was eight years old. Neil was a very mature, competent, comfortable guy in a world that was frenzied and complicated and hectic. My sister Emily is 21 and she's about to go into her senior year as a film major at Columbia College in the university. Um, and my sister Julia will be a freshman at Columbia in the fall. And he always wanted them to be open to any other choices. Um, but I knew that deep down that was his dream, that they would come here. When I was a freshman here, um, my father took an alumni course in literature humanities. He was going through this process of reading all these books that he had forgotten about or he had forgotten the details about, and I was reading them for the first time. Neil told me that when he went to his 15th college reunion that it was very sparsely attended by his classmates. That was uh, my first reunion. There were 10 people in total, including spouses. And when he talked to some of the classmates who weren't there, they shared with him that, that they agreed with him about the fantastic education that they had, but they felt that the student services were not what they could have been. Like a true Colombian, Neil focused on the real important issue um, of the Alumni Association, and that is the students. He was very proud of the fact that he instituted some changes. He loved working as part of the alumni committee. He liked being with his Columbia colleagues. Richard Witten was one of the people that convinced Neil that retirement was a great thing. It'll free you up for more time to spend on alumni activities, which in fact it did. He did leave his law firm. He did pursue many other interests, including you know, writing this fantastic book uh, that's right from the heart. Until he was diagnosed and then wasn't able to um, participate anymore. There's little doubt in my mind that had Neil been able to, he would have risen to the highest ranks of the Alumni Association because of his dedication to the school. In some ways, the disease gave him freedom because he could actually focus on the things that he really cared about. He cared about the Alumni Association, he cared about writing, he cared about charity, he cared about his children. Our motto has been, from the get-go, you know, as much as we can, one day at a time. It always really helps to have things to look forward to, milestones, um, special occasions, and this, this, uh, this award and this whole experience has, was just a huge boost for him at a time when he really needed a boost.